What's going on Salt Star Nation? Today we are going to be upgrading the tires on our beach cart. Now I've been doing a lot more surf fishing and these pier tires they work okay but they are a little bit difficult to get over the sand with. There's not as much traction as I would get with the beach tires. It takes a little bit more effort so I'm wanting to switch them over and I'm going to show you guys exactly how we're going to do that today. Then we'll talk about some pros and cons. Now the model beach cart that I have is the Fishing Mate Junior. If you have a different cart that's not a big deal. You can buy these tires aftermarket on Amazon. There's a ton of different people that make them. These are the the poly tires that are from Fish and Mate. So those are the ones I'm using, but the general principle of putting these together and what they do is the same across the board. So in terms of how we're gonna do this, I'm just gonna take everything out of the cart and show you how I take everything apart and reinstall the new tires. Now, in terms of what you need for this, just this socket wrench will do. Uh, this is the 7 16 inch socket. Now, if you have a different type of cart or you are gonna be using a different tire installation kit, uh, you might need a different socket, but I would say this will apply generally across the board. So first thing we're gonna do is take everything out of the cart and then we're gonna start installing the new tires. All right, so we have everything out of the cart. Now the first step that we're gonna do is go ahead and take all of these locking nuts off of this old axle using the socket wrench. Now at this point, they should be loose enough for you to loosen with your fingers. So go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna lift the carriage up right off of the old axle. So now these are unattached from the old carriage and there are some parts that we're going to need to take some inventory of as they are going to be helping us install the new beach tires. So what we need to take inventory of are these two axle holders right here. You need to make sure you have the four locking nuts that we're securing. Uh, those were the things that we loosened right off of the axle. And go ahead, if you've got your cooler nearby, make sure you're keeping inventory of everything. So I've got those there. And then you should have four washers that were under those locking nuts. So we've got one, two, three, four, boom, just set them right there. And you've got inventory of everything. So let's go ahead and install the beach tires now. So the way we're gonna do this is just lift the cart up. You've still got your handle and your stand right there. And just go ahead and slide the beach tires right under. And the key to doing this properly is making sure that you have the cart secured right in the middle of the axle. If it's too far to the left, the tires will rub right up against the carriage and you don't want that if it's too far over. Uh, there, it's just not gonna provide good stability. It's gonna be off cater. So just make sure you're sitting right in the middle, not touching the carriage, but also not too far out. So now what you wanna do is take your axle holder, insert it right in the bottom, right under here, and guide it through these holes. Now what you need to do is take the two washers, put them on top, of there and then you're just going to go ahead and put the locking nuts on and just make them finger tight. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other side, get all of our other parts, make sure we've got inventory of those and then we're going to put them on the other side. So now for our last step, we're gonna take this socket wrench and tighten down all of these locking nuts, making sure that we keep our cart in the center. It'll be moving around as you tighten these down. So keep a close eye on that. Make sure that your wheels are not touching the actual carriage. And my big recommendation here is as you tighten these down, what you wanna do is give it one, two, three, between three and five cranks on one locking nut and then switch over to the other one. If you just focus on one nut at a time and completely lock down this side, the actual is going to be driven up just on this side and it's not going to lock properly down on this nut. So it's really important that you switch between these as you tighten all these down. And again, just make sure that we're keeping an eye on where our wheels sit in relation to the carriage itself, just to make sure that we stay in the center. So let's go ahead and lock all these down completely. All right, so here we are. We've got our axle completely centered up. The wheels are not touching the carriage, so we're sitting in the center and we are completely secure. 
So as you guys can see, we've got our cart, we are good to go. We can put our wrench away and we can load everything back in. All right guys, so as you can see, we've got our beach tires installed. They're secured, moving just fine. Now to recap some of the pros and cons of these beach tires versus the pier tires. Pier tires, the pro of these is they're really durable. They're great for rolling around on concrete and things like that. They're not gonna get punctured as easily. So you can take them on rougher surfaces. These beach tires, the con of them, you can't really take them on the pier. I don't recommend you take them over concrete or gravel for long distances. Try to keep them on the beach, on the sand as much as possible because these wide tires, you know, they're very soft. They're great for rolling over sand. It's effortless moving over those dunes as appears to as opposed to the pier tires but they are more susceptible to getting punctured as you can see really soft so rolling over this concrete stuff like that that might have some sharp rocks or debris it could puncture these tires and these tires retail you know for 150 175 dollars most places uh, so you don't want to damage them try to keep them on the sand as much as possible now again this is the fish and mate cart there's tons of other carts that these tires and other different tire manufacturers uh, can go together with so I'd love to hear you guys' experience with tires such as these if you have any other recommendations that you'd like me to you know a test against these I'm more than happy to do so or other pier or beach cart modifications you'd like me to install and and just test out I'd love to hear some recommendations for you guys so leave those in the comments section below and I'll keep an eye out for them thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you on the next video there's something about the water that'll give you all by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wear the line today